Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some ideas about how to use the latest freebie, which is this one. It's an antique book cover with some rose paper scrap in different sizes. And you can also print it, for example, a3 sized, this is A4, and get a larger uh, larger images, for example, to be used as covers or end papers. But I used this A4 sized sheet and made this little notebook. It has the larger rose image on on this side and one of the middle sized used as cut in half and used as a nameplate. Also there's a tab over there and I have sewn around the edges. Inside I made a pocket from the larger image and several different tags. For example, this one, it has this tea dyed background paper and you can use it, for example, here. Then there's, uh, there are these ledger papers with some stamping. All the stamps are from Maki Stamps. And these ledger papers are from the Orleans paper kit. So there are these simple pages full of writing space. And to be to make this very simple and easy to make, I just sewed these pages on with my sewing machine. Let's go quickly through these. There's more stamping and that's the back. Let's see. We could hide those sewing marks. For example, with this one, I have used this circle punch to make these um, the corners like that. I'm going to glue this down and maybe use it like like a belly band and let these sides open leave these sides open let's see i'm using a strong glue Let's glue it down here and use some weight on it so that it will um well, how to how could I say it um so that it will stick very well on the background. Just a few more seconds. Okay, let's see if it's already dried. This tag, which is made from the middle sized image, just I just cut these corners and rounded here a little bit and made a little hole. And it's glued down on this brown 
um, cardstock. It goes here nicely. Then these are rounded tags. This one, they all have been glued down on some cardstock. This one has a background showing here. Simple tag with a little bit rounding here, but the normal um, shapes. Then I have made these smaller ones for embellishing. This could be used as a little, little journaling card or as an embellishment on a page. More little tags with either rounded corners or these sharper corners. And here another. Then this could be like, did I show you the background? The back, the back. Yes, I think I did, but this could be used as this nameplate, this, this way, and you could write your initials or journal or whatever you want to, and glue it down on, on, on your journal cover. Also, these corners I made with the circle punch. Then some tabs. This has sharp corners and this has rounded corners. I used this small one. Cut. Uh, I turned it. Uh, folded it like this and it is dressed with some ink and rounded the corners and that's that. Now I'm going to put it somewhere here and use it as, as a tab. For example here, let's see how it looks. From the outside, I have to put it very, very closely to the edge so that it's close to that size, the width. I'm adding some strong glue on here and here. Oops. Then attaching it in the center. There, nice. Then one more, uh, maybe over there. The same, a little bit glue, put a little bit of glue here and here, and I'm trying to find the center. That's quite nice. Yes, I like it. There. Maybe, maybe we'll put some of these little, little ones somewhere here on the white background. 
for example here just to embellish it a little bit Also, if you have these shorter pages, you could use this as some kind of, of a tab. Do I have the right kind? No, not anymore. But you could take two of these and put them together like this and attach here so that the page is a little bit longer and easier to turn. There might be some other place where I can show you that, that idea. So that you just take two of these without any strings because these strings are, are not good in this Uh, good for this idea, but glue them together and you'll get a nice tab so that the page looks longer and it's easier to turn. That's just a little idea. So there is that. Then That one is glued down a little bit. No. Uh, and you could use some paper clips to attach those. I have my rusty paper clips here and I love them so much. <laughs> they look so vintage. -y. There, oops, one more time. They leave some marks on the paper, but it, I don't mind. I think the rust looks good in this vintage style journals that I make. There it is, and maybe a larger one somewhere here. Perhaps you could use this one is more modern, but I'm just going to use it anyways. One more somewhere. There's a white page that I don't like so much. Let's put this one here using the larger paper clip. And one more, there's a white page too, this small, small tab, small tag over there. Okay, I think it's lovely, lovely now. A front and it says botany. You could also use a paper scrap, let's do that, and add a better name tag over there. Okay, I found this one and this brown cardstock. I'm going to use this as the nameplate and not write a name but attach this one. I changed my mind. So let's cut this to size a little bit up there yes then use the circle punch And 
ink it with the edges for some definition contrast then where's the, the index finger cut the corners and use some ink to close the white edges then add some glue attach it to this plate this this index finger you can find from my in my snippets yes that looks good some more glue there it's ready there are still some items items that you could use for example this I think it would look nice here on the cover it's like a little book those corners need to be cut already looking better some ink and if I'm going to attach it here the cover needs a little hole and an eyelet there I'm going to use this this eyelet, it's like almost like golden, but not quite, not too much. Then the crocodile is handy. A little hole in there and the eyelet. It's more force. Now, there, and I have to open these knots. Let's see now. This one is up. Like so. And a little knot over here. And then I think this is ready. Yes, a little dangly here. That looks nice. It, lots of tags, 
tabs, small tags and here also and somewhere good down. Yes, I think it's it's ready. I like it. And there was the belly band with a little with this middle sized tag. Yes, nice. <laughs> Even if I say it myself. That's ready. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.